Hi, I'm George Pearson. In this Photoshop Elements video, we'll be taking this photograph and converting it into this high contrast, colorful movie poster style. Now, if you like this video, make sure you click that like button and, of course, share. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos in the future. And to learn more about Photoshop Elements, look for my complete training, and you'll find a link for that up there in the upper right hand corner. Okay, let's get to it. Here's the original photograph. Now for this project we need to get rid of that background and we'll do that by making a selection and using the selection to make a layer mask for this. So I'll first zoom in just like that. There we go. Not too tight but close enough so I can actually see what we're doing in here. And I'll use the tool right there. This is the polygonal lasso tool. I have my feathering set at one pixel and it should be set at a new selection right over there. And I'll start just outside and then begin coming along and working around the top of the turban here. Now the way this tool works is you click and then you position your next point like that. Come in and click. So you're putting in points and then Photoshop Elements comes in and connects those points with lines. Now it's not really critical to be perfect with this particular tool for this particular project just because of all the different looks we'll be applying to it. But it's a good idea to still do a reasonably good selection. When you come down to the hair down here, we'll work around the hair and we'll fix that little section using the Refine Edge tool. Now if you run out of space like this, just hold the space bar down. It gives you a little hand. You can then move your picture, let go of the space bar, and then you're back to your tool again. So I'll go around the hair and then back on to the outfit here. Now let's continue on around. Now down here it gets a little bit dark, but you can kind of barely see where this part of the jacket goes. It goes kind of outside there. Now let's take it around. And again the space bar and move that. We can just pull it in over here and then back in on that. That kind of matches where that is. Like I'm just outside and then Straight along the bottom, again, there's that space bar right over here. And it went a little too far, so I'll just back up right to about there. It looks like that's kind of where that sleeve is. And again, space bar. And move this. To take a little bit more time around the hands because there are a little more, more detail in here. And a few more curved edges and things. Now if you're going around an actual curve, like we'll see up here in just a second, around this knuckle right there on the finger or that, that joint on the finger, just put your dots closer together. That's all you have to do. And when you're working with this tool, don't click too quickly. If you click too quickly, it's going to collapse your selection down and you'll have to start all over again. So when you're especially coming in close like this, make sure you don't click too fast. Just take your time, breathe deep, get kind of into a nice little selection mode, and then just slowly work around the figure. The reason I like this tool is because you can come in and really find your spot exactly before clicking on that and confirming that position. Let's go ahead and do the space bar again, pull this down. We'll go straight up this thing here and pull it straight down, and then just off screen and over, and then we'll come back in again right there and then follow that all the way down. Another nice thing about this tool is you can do these straight lines very nicely. So it's very good if you have straight lines that need to be handled. It's a good tool for that. Okay, and we're coming out of the end of the hand here. Again, there's some more hair off the side of his beard up there and we'll just go just outside of that. I don't want to keep all of that, but we'll put it in with the refined edge tool and then take out what we don't want. And the reason I'm taking some of that out is just so it works better against the final background when we get down to that point. Okay, let's kind of pull it over to here and then we can finish off this turban and then work around to go back to the starting point again. And that will take care of our selection. Okay, almost done. 
And once the selection is done, we'll then move over to the Refine Edge tool and use that to fix any little bits that may need fixing, which really here is just going to be the hair. Okay, come straight outside. Again, spacebar. There's our beginning point. You can kind of see as I go right up against that edge, get like a little circle shows up right there. There it is. That's at the beginning again. Okay, so there's the selection. And again, I'll use the space bar. Let's put that right down here. And go over here to the Select menu and down to Refine Edge. I have mine set at the overlay, which is just easy to see. I'll leave all these at their default settings right now just for this. And then just take your brush and the brush size is right down there, 35 pixels, that's fine for this. And then just brush right over that hair, just like that. That's all you have to do. Okay, let's go to the other side. Do the same thing right in there. That takes care of that. Well, again, we'll clean out a little bit of that a little later on. Now, it's a bit too much right here. So if you go to the next tool down, this is the Eraser tool. And you can come back and you can fill back in something if it takes out too much. So that fixes that part. Okay, now that that's done, come down to where it says Output to and change this to New Layer with Layer Mask. There it is, New Layer with Layer Mask. Choose OK. There's the new layer, there's the layer mask, and it hides the original background. And you can kind of see it's a little bit messy in here and a little bit messy right around there. That's what we'll be cleaning out as kind of a final step later on. Okay, back to the zoom tool and to fit screen. So that gets our image cleaned out, separated from the background. So we're all set now to begin working on the actual effects in here. So the first part of our effect, let's take this layer and we'll make a duplicate of this layer. Just drag it up to the new layer button like that. There's our duplicate layer. And then go up to the filter menu come down to stylize right there and find edges and it gives you this kind of an effect it's kind of an interesting drawing effect but I want to blend this into our original image in behind that just gives us our harder edges so let's adjust the blend mode for this layer that's up here where it says normal click on that and then come down to overlay and it blends this line drawing effect into that picture so here it is without and there it is with so yeah, it really accentuates everything now and gives it kind of a, a cartoony, almost a cartoony effect already. Okay, that layer is now taken care of. Now I want to take these two layers and blend these together onto a new layer. And you do that by holding on a special keyboard shortcut. It's Control, Shift, Alt, and E key. And that combines the visible layers into a new layer right there. So if I hide those two layers, there's our new layer. You see it right there. I'll just bring those back up again. Now I want to take this layer and we'll blend this layer into our other layers after we do some effects on it. So on this one, we're going to give it a special painting effect. And that's up here at the filter and filter gallery right there. In the filter gallery, you want to be in the artistic section, which is right here and then paint daubs right there. And I have my set for a brush size of 8 and a sharpness of 7 and brush type is simple. Just kind of puts in this, this brush effect. I can show and hide that right here. So there's that paint daub effect in there. Choose OK. And that puts that on top. And again, I want to now blend this into our layers underneath. So I'll change our blend mode right here and it's come down to hard light. So it'll also brighten things up a bit and gives us more contrast in there. So there's our hard light effect. Now this one layer here, this effect layer, really is only good for the face and the hands. It's not very good for anything else. It's too much for anything else, but it's great for the face, the beard, and the hands. So I want to mask out everything else in here. So I'll do that, adding a layer mask onto this layer. Here's our layer mask. Go over to the paintbrush. Make sure you're on black. Your foreground color is black. I have mine set for a hard edge brush and right there. And it's set at about 59 or 60 pixels. You can see there's the brush size right there. So there's a layer mask. 
Notice the light blue outlines are on the layer mask side and then simply paint on that layer mask with black and that hides this effect. So I'll use this to hide the effect on the clothes and keep the effect every place else. Just a matter of just kind of going over and brushing that in. It's pretty easy as you can see. And again all I'm doing is I'm hiding that last effect on the clothes but leaving it on everything else. I'll come down I'll actually leave it on that bar there as well. And on the hands. And there we go. That takes care of that. And you can see how this looks by right clicking on the layer mask and choosing disable layer mask. There it is without that effect. And then here it is with that masked out. So it's a good balance now. So we're using this paint ups effect just on the face and beard and the hands and then hiding the effect on everything else. Okay, that takes care of the person for our picture. We now need to bring our background in. And I have that up here under my recent file list. Now both the picture of this Afghan here and the picture of the desert that we're using. I have links for both of these on the materials page for this video. You'll find a link for that in the description. And this one is landscape. There it is. Just a nice desert landscape picture. I'm just going to take this one and drag that in. There we go. And close that down. Now it's obviously it's in front so I need to move my layer down underneath everything. And it'll drop into the back like that and then let's just position that about as high as we can just right about there that's pretty high up and that looks nice I'm not changing the size of that I'm just kind of positioning it properly now we have real kind of high contrast painterly look here for the person and photographic deserts we need to fix our desert to blend that in better with our picture so take this layer and duplicate this layer right there. We'll then blend this layer into this layer. By blending the two together it'll give us a whole different look on that. So on this one go up to normal. You're on the top one, the top desert layer. Go up to normal and come down to linear light and it really accentuates all the colors in there. Now it's still too bright so I want to tone this down just a little bit. So I'll bring the opacity down to 80 which is right about there. Just tones it down a little bit. There it is without. There's the original and there it is with that. So it kind of brightens it up, but it's still too bright. So I'll add in a new layer mask or a layer on top of this layer and use that to mask out some of this coloration. And for that I want to be using over here under the layer and fill layer using a gradient fill right here. Where it says use previous layer to create clipping mask. Just leave that unchecked on this one and then choose OK. And it should give you this gradient black to clear. If it doesn't just open this up and it's that second one right there. If your foreground is black which it should be then this will go black to clear so that's the one you want. Now it's giving me black at the bottom and clear at the top which is the opposite of what I want so where it says 90 just put a negative in front of that and that puts black at the top and clear at the bottom and choose OK. Now, as you can see it's better but it's still not great so we're going to put a blend mode on this layer and then blend this into the sand layers. Go up here to normal again and then come down to hard mix right there and that gives us that real strong contrasty look in here and blends that in with our image. Now I mentioned that we want to do a little bit with the hair. So that the hair is just a bit rough out here and out here. I want to come, come in and just kind of clean that up a little bit. Now the hair actually now is on three layers. It's on this layer, this layer, and this layer. We'll have to hit all three of these on the layer mask side. And let's zoom in. Back to our move tool. Okay, so for this let's go to our bottom layer, click on the layer mask side, look for that light blue outline, and grab the paintbrush. Now the brush is too large at this point. I'm going to bring it way down in size. And that's down to 18 pixels. Maybe just do it at 15. I'll just type it in. 15 pixels. And I'm just going to come right over the hair, the part that doesn't look so good, 
You can leave a little bit of black along the edge in there if you want to. Just really kind of taking that down just a bit. And that looks pretty good right there. Now, there's still some black in here. So let's check our next layer mask up. That's this one. Do the exact same thing in here. Just make sure you catch all of that. And then the next layer mask right there. And that should be the rest of this. And let's kind of clean that out. Okay, let's go over here to the right hand side. The exact same thing. Come down to the bottom layer here. And let's just bring this in a little bit. Just like that. Just a touch. Up one layer. And make sure we got everything in here. Up one more layer. And get the last little little cleanup bit in there. There we go. Okay, let's go back to fit on screen. And there it is. There's our finished movie look poster effect. Kind of posterized, brightened up, more contrast in here. And it's all done very easily. As you can see, just using blend modes and a couple of filters. Let's take a look at this full size. I'll just bring this out here and drag it open. And zoom in a couple of clicks. And there we go. There's our movie poster style art effect on that photograph. You want to compare the two? Let's just take the background down here. I'll pull this up to the top. Make a new little copy right there of that and then pull it to the top. Stay there we go. So there's the original and there's our art version of that. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com.